Welcome to the Word of Life podcast. On today's broadcast, a member of the Word of Life ministerial team will share a message of faith, hope, and love. We pray that this message will take root in your heart and produce a wellspring of life for your spirit, family, and this world. Don't forget to join in person or on Facebook, Twitter, and our website at www.mexicowordoflifeministries.com. Now let's join the speaker as they share the good news for this day. Pray yourself in your own home right. for your own needs. Right. You should have a communication going on with God yourself. Amen. Don't be in no party line waiting for someone to talk. With. I'll get my turn later on. It's not that way with God. Amen. Amen. I experienced a little party line when I was a kid, and then I experienced once as an adult. You got to wait for your call. <laughs> you got a beep beep sound. Yeah, they say your, your 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 calling card is beep beep beep, and so and so is beep beep. <coughs> and sometimes people get on there and listen to beep beep at someone else's call. When I talk to God, ain't nobody gonna hear my call. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't have be on a party line. Amen. I'm on the main line. Praise can the Lord. someone say praise the Lord? Praise Amen. The Lord. Praise the Lord. The combination of these ministry gifts, the apostles can operate in them, all these ministry gifts. As I said, praise the Lord. <clears throat> Some evangelists also have combination ministries in that they are teachers, praise the Lord, as well as being evangelists. Some pastors have the capacity of being evangelists as, as well as being able to multi, uh, talk to people about God. Amen. The evangelist is also a person who brings good tidings. We have one of those in our midst, praise the Lord. He also has a special anointing to get people saved. Amen. They used to, I remember a case in point about Billy Graham. They thought that Billy Graham used to have an altar call and everybody would come forth, thousands and thousands to do these different uh, uh, areas that he ministered in. And someone had the unique idea of saying that the reason why people come to God is because of the music. Come um, as I am. You remember that, that uh, one, yeah. one, when he said, and he said, well, that's the reason why people are coming. So one day he showed them and he, he did an experiment. Don't play the music at all. If you want to accept God, come. More than normal, King. It's not by the word of music or the music that Amen. inspires people to come. Music is good. But what inspires them to come is the word finding them Amen. and arresting them in their hearts. Amen. And the more we talk about the word, we can keep on pouncing and pouncing until it manifests itself. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Don't get tired of doing what's right. right. After a while, it's going to happen. Amen. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise praise the Lord. Lord. Philip was one of the seven men chosen as a deacon in the church in Jerusalem. Remember that? Amen. Amen. God gave him the ministry of evangelists. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The next day, the Bible talk about in Acts, the 21st chapter, 8th verse, that uh, the next day that we were about, uh, were, or Paul and, and company departed, it came that in Caesarea, he entered into the house of Philip, the evangelist, which was one of the seven abiding with them. He was a dynamic minister. And God used him mightily in his ministry. Is that right? Amen. A pastor, pastor. God wants his leaders to be clean, pure, and strong, and live a holy life. This is some of that five-fold ministry. Amen. You got to live. We're not perfect, but we should live clean. Amen. And pure and strong and live holy lives. When somebody said, well, I got knees. Well, you need to buckle your knees in your pocket. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says in Jeremiah, the second chapter, the eighth verse, that the priest said not, where is the Lord? They that handled the law knew not me not. The pastors also transgressed against me. And the prophets prophesied about Balaam. And walked after the things that do not profit. You know, sometimes when they profit, when a pastor or a prophet, well, Jeremiah was a prophet. Sometimes we'll say things or the pulpit that people don't like. Amen. 
Amen. It happens like this, and, and, and they, they, they'll throw a deaf ear to it. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. One preacher was telling me one time, he used to like talking to the old preachers. He said he was, I don't know, he was in Mexico and in Jeff City. Somebody got up in the congregation and put his finger and his fist up in front of his face and said, I hope by this time you bald-headed man, the back of your pants look like a checkerboard. <laughs> The man arrested, talked to him about, his, about the word, and the word found him, and the man got all upset over it. So he said, son, I like to mark him. He's an old preacher that I really like. Some of those old preachers, you can't, they don't stay around long because, well, they've been around already. You just come catching up with them. You're young, and you think they're going to last forever to give you some words of wisdom. We need people like that around us to give us some kind of grounding. <coughs> God put them in the midst to help us out when we were young. Amen. And our job is to help those who are out when, as we are where we are so they can be grounded. Amen. So they won't be headed up and high-minded. So they'll be able to go through life knowing that God is real and God will take care of them if they stay sound. Amen. Amen. Learn, here's the sound words. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the, Lord. the apostle, the prophet, praise the Lord are to feed the flock and to keep them strong with the word of God. The job is to keep them strong in the word of God, not in your intellect, your ability, or what you've obtained from the various colleges. Amen. But stick with the word of God. Praise the Lord. The word of God Amen. is going to keep you steady Amen. and strong Amen. and vibrant. Amen. When others are falling apart, you'll be able to stay. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I know that's right. Amen. I know that's right. You know, a lot of people say, speak to us soothing things that are soothing to my ear. I'm not here to entertain nobody. You want to entertain? You go to Vegas. Well. Don't come down here to be entertained. Amen. You come down here to get word. Amen. So you can be able to stand strong. Amen. And I'll be standing when all the other entertainers are here and gone. Amen. You can take that to the bank. Amen. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. I know that's right. So I'm not moved by what I see in the Lord feel. I'm moved by the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. The pastor should feed the flock and stay strong in the word. Don't give to the left or to the right. I remember years ago when I eat call them stupid. Amen. Years ago when I came down here, praise the Lord, some old lady had this thing where she wanted to give her her, her, her rag, her cloth. You know. They found it in the word. But people distort the word Amen. to suit their own needs. That's right. That's right. Sure, they, they had cross cloths in the Bible and they prayed over them. And with, you, with a person you couldn't touch base with, you give them the cloth. And they believed God's word was right and God healed them accordingly. But now everybody wants to be a wonder. Amen. They don't want to come to church no more. Give me the cloth. No, it ain't going to work that way. Amen. If you got the ability to come, you should come. Amen. Amen. Don't have nobody come to give you a personal encounter. Give you a personal teaching session. That's right. Amen. That's out for the dogs. Praise the Lord. Amen. Unless you shut up and can't get out, I'll come then. But if you're able to move around and I'm moving around all through the week, but on Sunday you got the, the, the disability where you can't get up, something's wrong. Amen. But through the week, you can get out and move around, dance, shout, and everything, whatever you want to do. But on Sunday, on Sunday morning, you can't do a thing. You know something's wrong. Amen. Tell someone to praise the Lord. Praise but our job is to give the word and put it out. Amen. Jeremiah three fifteen says, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with the knowledge and understanding. God gives the pastor wisdom and understanding to Amen. talk to each individual. It's up to you to receive it or reject it. When I do my part, when I go to heaven, I ain't going to be scared. Amen. I say, Lord, I, I didn't get everything done. I'm going to do what I can do while I can do it. You know why? Because my pages are there. Yeah. Well, they're dark and fair. My pages are up there. When I get to heaven, I'm going to be there to shout for John. Amen. I'm not going to talk about the word about no one else because it's a time where we got to go one-on-one -on -one now. Amen. It's getting real, y'all. But the rubber meets the road. When I get to heaven, I'm going to be able to do some shouting. Praise the Lord. That I made it over. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've done all I can do down here. Amen. I'm going over yonder. 
We sing this song, I'm going up yonder. Amen. You know, I sometimes talk about it, people get concerned and think I'm getting ready to check out. I'm not checking out nowhere. Amen. I want to tell about the reality that the reality does exist. Amen. That one day we're going to leave this world, but we better leave this world in the right mind. So that we will get over yonder and see the man, yeah. as they call him. Yeah. See, Jesus, who set us free you, and made us whole and complete. This is real. Yeah. Can someone say, praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. Amen. I know that's right. Jeremiah 17, chapter 16, verse says, and ask me, I am not hastened from being an apostle or a prophet or a pastor to follow thee. Neither have I desired the woe woe day that thou knowest that which came out of my lips was right before thee. Make sure it counts. Whatever you minister, the word of God. Make sure it counts. Make sure it's of God's word. You don't try to, to dress it up. The word doesn't need no dressing up. The word is still the same yesterday and today and forevermore. Is that right? Amen. You got to believe it or not believe it. Amen. Child, I don't want to, when I come to your church, when your people say this, let me sit on the back pew. Let me sit on the back. I said, I don't care where you sit. You come on the set because the word catch you on the back pew or the front pew. Is that right? Amen. You're not doing me no favor by coming to church and sit on the back pew. Amen, praise Amen. That time is out. Amen. I'm not in a number game. Amen. I'm in a soul wisdom game. Praise the Lord. And the Bible said in the book of Acts, he added daily to the church such as should be saved. If I put the word out, God will bring them in. Amen. They'll go from the north to the south to the east to the west, Amen. and they'll come on in. Hallelujah. And we'll come in, we'll have the word for them. Praise the, Lord. the spirit of God will move upon them and anoint them. And those sitting on the side and looking, they're going to be looking while they get blessed. The others get blessed. Can someone say praise the Lord? I know that's right. Praise the Lord. Great pastors are the one that four most needs of the world today. They love to praise God. They love to talk about God's word. Weak churches are always trying to manipulate people. Amen. We don't try to manipulate you all along. Amen. You either like it I believe it. Is that right? Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Jesus is the role model for every pastor. Matthew's 8, 9, chapter 36, verse says, When he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion on them, because he, they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. You got a lot of people like it in this city and around area. They have no shepherd. They want someone to speak to them soothing things, the soothing to the ear. They want no one to tell them what's going on and tell them what's right and what's wrong. Amen. And when someone tells them like right and wrong, they say, well, get rid of him. I'm here to tell you, you can't get rid of me. Praise the Lord. I'm here for the long duration. Praise <laughs> one lady told me one time, said, uh, here. Uh, they were so concerned about this one guy come over, he's a preacher, that I was going to let him have the place here. I guess I was a leaf. I was young then, and I'm old, uh, older now. I, I wasn't gonna leave then, and you know I ain't gonna leave now. Amen. God gonna have to take me on about here. Praise the Lord. We take you on. I'm ready to go then. What about you? Amen. If I do what I'm supposed to do, and all I can do, it, I'll be ready to go. Praise the Lord. I'll take my wings and I'll fly away. Can someone say praise the, Lord? praise the Lord? And when you do all you can do, when it's time to go, it may be a sad day, but you'll be ready to go. The launching pad, you'll be able to launch out and go on up heaven. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know that's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. A teacher. Praise the Lord. I got to get down to all these places yet. In Matt, Mark, the sixth chapter, the 34th verse. And Jesus said in Matthew's Mark, the sixth chapter, the 34th verse, and said this. And Jesus, when he had came out saw much people and was moved with compassion toward them because they were sheep not having a shepherd he began to teach them many things a teacher is one who will open the word of God and talk to you about the mysteries of God's word a teacher calls it complex and simplifies it so you'll be able to understand it
God is not concerned and moved by your multiplication of words. Amen. Keep it simple. <laughs> I remember they said about Martin Luther King Jr. His father was a preacher also. And Martin Luther King Jr. was a man that really knew how to talk Amen. and mystified the crowd. And he was using his words that he learned from college. And his father was on the sideline and said, son, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Because a lot of people don't understand what you saw when you start talking a lot of words. Amen. They nod their head like they understand, but they don't know squat. Amen. Most people are common. They don't understand a whole lot. They don't need to know a whole lot to understand the word of God. Amen. But if you keep it simple. It's all right when you're with different classes of people because Paul said that when I was with this individual, I knew how to speak to them. Amen. But the basic of all of it is you can keep it simple so people know how to say, to get saved. And say, so, Lord, I'm a sinner. I know I've been messed up. I went to school for 10 years, 20 years to learn about culture and learn about this and that to get a skill. And I'm like Pastor Paul, I count it all done that I may know you in the part of my sins. It's got to keep it simple. Keep the gospel simple. Don't mystify it. And the job of a teacher is to keep it simple. So do we able to stun the word of God? And the Bible says in the old Psalms that make it so easy that a fool need not to err. And you know if the food don't have to air, it's room for you and me. Amen. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Many of God's truths are being taught in our pulpits. Amen. Through different mechanisms, like we have a mechanism right now. We're reaching people in various countries. Amen. States. Amen. They're in their homes right now listening to what we're saying. And the good news is we're talking about Jesus. That he loves you so much. He wants you to learn about him. So you'll be able to meet the call that he has for you. And one preacher says, I want to see you here. I want to talk to you here, but I may not see you here, but I'll talk to you over yonder land. Because it's only what you do for Christ is going to last. So the job of apostle, prophet, and pastor, and teacher is to edify the church. To build the church up. So that we be strong and vibrant. So when you walk back through these doors and encounter with Satan, because you know God, you have the spirit of God dwelling inside of you, God will give you what to say and how to say it. A word that you read and heard today. Because the Bible says faith does come by hearing. <laughs> and hearing by the word of God. So my job is to talk to you about the word. Talk to you about the fivefold ministry. And this staff we have can meet and talk to you about the word of God so you may grow and flourish. One is not trying to outdo the other. We're all trying to do it for the edification of God's word and be in the body of Christ so that God will be pleased with us in this ministry. That's what it's all about. We want God to be pleased with us. And every day I get up, I say, Lord, I want you to be pleased with me. I want you to ple be pleased with me. I see I'm missing the mark somewhere. I asked him to forgive me. And you got to do the same thing. Make it a daily walk. If you encounter a lot of things in your job that wasn't right, amen. People don't have a job that they can't stand you. Amen. Ask God to help you and give you strength. Because God will give you strength. He's a very present help in the time of need. Amen. He said, I will be with you always, even to the end of the world. So wherever you walk, if you lean not to your understanding, but to him, when all that ways acknowledge him, he will direct your path. If a man's ways please the Lord, he'll make even his worst enemy be a peace in. So I want to please God. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we're not through with this. Bow your heads down. I want to talk to those on the line. You may be going through some challenges right now. Trouble on every hand, every side. And you need the help of God to help you. No one else can do it but God. No one else can unscramble those eggs that are messed up. 
but a God that we know can turn things around in Jesus' name. Say, Lord, I'm tired of where I'm at, and I need your help. Forgive me of all my transgressions. Make me whole and complete. Let me serve Jesus. I give my life to him right now and ask him to accept me in Jesus' name. Amen. Shake somebody's hand and say, God bless you. Real good. Okay, we need to go into our community time. I forgot, yeah, I forgot, didn't you? Amen. We only do this so many times a year. We'll probably do a little more this year than we did last year. But there's a scripture in Corinthians that talks about this. Amen. Praise the Lord. The words that I speak unto you, their spirit.